My name's Alan El Saar, and I'm the co-inventor of the Air Sticks. They are a gestural instrument that allows you to turn movement into sound. The first iteration was actually a hat that we built that allowed me to play drums with all four limbs and manipulate the sound of the electronic drum kit by tilting my head around. The new Air Sticks, the Air Sticks that I call Air Sticks 2.0, we built this hardware that talks via Bluetooth to a bit of software that we developed in the lab so I'll show you. They don't know where I am in space, they just know where I am relative in orientation. So I can rotate them, but they also know how fast I'm traveling in any direction. So this means that people who are using these new air sticks are kind of liberated to move however they want to move, whether they live with a physical disability, or whether they're a dancer, uh, or whether they're a circus performer, or an actor, or a drummer, or a singer, they can all move in the way that they want. Earlier this year, I worked with Melinda Smith, who is a dancer living with cerebral palsy, and she's completely influenced the way that I've designed the air sticks as an accessible instrument, one that can be worn, one that triggers text and vocals. What do you have? I visualize the sound. She sometimes cannot control her movements. And for her to hear those as sound was like this conversation between this part of her that was involuntary and then control again. And she would react to, to phrases of music and pause them and hold them and create tension and react to them. So the sound that we're hearing in the piece that Melinda wrote called The Rhythm of My Body Shapes started with some text that she wrote. And she wrote the text on her, what we call Dottie, which is her assistive speech technology and recorded that as audio. So she would move around and if she triggered down low, you'd hear the start of the text. If she triggered up high, you'd hear something towards the end of the text. She could change the pitch of it. She could put different effects by moving around in the space. But what we then realized is that we wanted to hear her voice. And we convinced her to also record the, the whole text in her voice. Melinda spoke about her body becoming this instrument in, in her text, which was really beautifully articulated. And part of the performance is actually her showing to the audience that even though she's in a wheelchair at the start, she gets out of a wheelchair and dances on the floor by the end. And it's quite a, a remarkable moment. She really plays with the audience's idea of what is her ability, where her limitations are. And that created a whole different idea of what the air sticks were. They were no longer this thing that brought to light electronic music making in a performance sense. They became really about this kind of internal dialogue that she was having, this way of expressing what it's like being her in front of people in a performance. <laughs> Currently we're running an early adopter program and we're looking for people who just want to use them in whatever way they want to use it, whether it's going into touch designer as a visual artist or a DJ that wants to manipulate their set. We work with percussionists. I've always been interested in interactive music. I guess as I've gotten a bit older, I've also wanted to have more of a relationship between listener and performer. I, I don't feel that the, when I ask someone, do you play music, and their answer is no, that that's ever valid. I feel like everyone engages with music, even if you just listen to music. So it felt to me like the air sticks could be really useful in bringing people from that point of view of, I just listen to, oh, now I manipulate by playing, by moving. I engage with this, this sound and now I'm moving that sound. Now I'm actually playing it. And where's that line? Are you now a musician? Are you a dancer? Where is, where is that line between a musician and a non-musician? In a sense, the instrument is my composition. It is the thing that I write that I want people to interact with. Uh, and certain people might interact with it by taking it and pulling it apart, putting different senses in it and sending other bits of data and doing whatever they want. Or other people might just pick it up and shake it for a few moments and have an experience with it that is fulfilling and then put it back down. But all that to me, I guess, is 
is part of the composition of building an instrument and allowing people to, to use it.